I have in my hand a streaming media stick that I found on eBay for $3 factory sealed. What have I gotten myself into? Let's do this thing. This is the Voodoo Spark, and does it really have a place in 2019? That's what we're here to find out. Released in 2014 and discontinued in 2016, this is the predecessor of the Voodoo Box, a set-top box giving access to Voodoo's library of on-demand rental videos. At the time, Chris Hardwick of Wired gave a glowing review to the Voodoo Box, albeit that was in 2007. This wee fellow is called the Voodoo, and uh, it's basically just like a blockbuster video store in a tiny, shiny little box. The Voodoo's ease of use and completely top-notch engineering earned it a 9 out of 10 points in the fall test issue and a Wired Best of Test Award. It's my understanding that the original Voodoo box had onboard storage that would download the video content before you played it. I don't think it was a true streaming device though I've not been able to validate this. And the Voodoo Box may have been a great idea at the time, but we're here to talk about the Spark. And the Spark, well, it's a thing that exists. Out of the box, we get the Spark, a USB power cable, two AAA batteries, and the remote. Build quality doesn't really feel much different than that of an Amazon Fire Stick. The remote feels solid, and the buttons are a little more spongy than the Fire Stick remote. It's not a bad thing, just different. The $25 credit included in the box has expired. The Spark does not come with an AC adapter to power the device. I assume this was to keep the cost down, as the Spark's cost was around $25 when it was new. As far as tech specs go, I wasn't able to scrounge much up on this thing. From the Spark's website, we get this. And that's it, so yeah. But enough talk. Let's get this thing fired up and take a look at how it works. Well, immediately we get a cool looking intro video and are prompted to connect to our Wi-Fi network. I notice immediately that with the Wi-Fi, the Spark probably doesn't have a very good antenna. I'm only about 10 feet away from my Wi-Fi router and I'm only getting a signal of around 50 to 60%. Most other wireless devices that I own will pick up a handful of other wireless signals throughout the neighborhood as well. The Spark doesn't even see my 5 GHz network. On the main screen, we can sign up or log in. I have a Walmart account, so I logged in with that. On the menu screen, I'm immediately drawn to the F word. The selection isn't great, but admittedly, there are a few titles that I would watch. They're provided free with ads, so it is what it is. Let's look at the video quality. We're going to check out Robot and Frank. Robot and Frank would be badass. We well, see an ad right away. First date. You look amazing. <laughs> and you look amazingly comfortable. This episode of the Lodo Tech Show is brought to you by Downey. If you don't want to look like an asshole like me with a stretch out shirt, use Downy. Now with Omni Clean Stank Fibers, Downy. They're really not a sponsor. Please don't sue me, Downy. Okay, on with the movie. The video quality looks really good. This is in 1080 HD, and my capture card is not doing it justice. I don't want to get into why my capture card doesn't look as good as the real stream. We'll just say reasons. Uh-oh, this isn't a good sign. When trying to turn off the captions, the on-screen interface became unresponsive. I had to exit the movie and go back in to get that to work. And we see another ad. Okay, back into the movie, but at least now the interface is back. I hope this is just a rare glitch and not some ploy to trick us into watching more ads. Looking over the rental prices, they're not terrible. I guess? I'd say it's comparable to renting from a video store or Redbox. I guess? I haven't rented a movie in at least a decade, so I'm speculating again. The upside is that you don't have to leave your house to rent these movies. Some purchase prices seem a bit steep to me, but others are okay. Some movies are not available for rental, and purchase is the only option. 
There is a very small selection of TV shows that are on a sample type platform. By this I mean you can watch the pilot episodes of some newer shows for free without watching commercials. I imagine that this is to entice the viewer to pay to watch more episodes later in the series. Vudu also has a service available that will allow you to pay a couple of bucks to add the DVDs and Blu-rays that you already own to your Vudu streaming library. However, this poses the question, what happens to that content if Vudu closes up shop? Well, if that's the case, I believe you'd just be SOL. Okay, The Spark. In 2019, what is it good for? Who is it good for? And is it worth three bucks? I can see value in The Spark if you own absolutely no other streaming devices that are voodoo capable and want to access Spark's library. However, most streaming media devices these days, be it a Roku player, Android device, gaming console, you have access to voodoo. Maybe your primary set-top box is something like a Raspberry Pi running Libra Elec, in which case you can't access the Sparks library. In that case, I would recommend the Spark if you wanted to supplement your streaming experience. However, I would only recommend this if you could get one cheap enough. I could also recommend buying the Spark for three bucks if you're a YouTuber trying to do a show about low-cost technology and you need something quick and cheap to make a video about. I would not recommend this device to be your primary source of entertainment because there are just too many other better options out there that don't cost much. Let's look at the Sparks pricing plan. The good side is that there is no commitment or subscriptions involved with Voodoo. If you didn't watch anything that month, you didn't spend anything. But it's a double-edged sword. Once you've rented two or three movies, you've exceeded what you could have paid Netflix or Hulu for unlimited viewing. To me, that's just not a very good value. I really think it's time to put that final nail in the coffin of video rental. I think it's a dead business model, but hey, that's just my opinion. Also, if you leave this with your kids, unrestricted, and leave for the evening, you could come home to bankruptcy. On the newer iteration of the Voodoo app for Android TV, I did find where you could put in a passcode for purchases. On the Spark, I don't think this exists. I was able to find where I could put in a password for content control, but nothing to block purchases, and to me, that's scary. Alright, after all of this has been said, I do have some bad news. As of this video, you can't get the Spark for 3 bucks on eBay anymore. The good news is, the eBayer who was selling them sent me his last remaining stock and told me that I could give them away. You can visit his shop at mbmerchandise.com. The question remains, would anyone be interested in getting one of these for free in some kind of giveaway? These Sparks are all factory sealed and in the box. They're officially new old stock. I did find in my research for this video that the Bartlett Public Library in Bartlett, Illinois has a system for Voodoo Spark sign out. I have no idea how this works, so if I can't get enough interest in a viewer giveaway, I'll donate all of them to a local library or some charity on behalf of mbmerchandise.com. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with them. Do you want one? Would you like to nominate your local library or some other organization? I could see the use at a daycare or something like that as well. That's it for this week's show. Do you like the review? Did you think I was too harsh or not critical enough? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content. I try to get these videos out weekly. Also, check out my social media pages. I'm on Twitter and Facebook. If you'd like to support the show on Patreon, you can find the Lodo Tech Show there too. But no pressure, my people. Money's tight these days. I get it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to stick around till after the credits if you would like to get got. Oh, hey, as promised. Uh...